so here it is, my microfiber package. I feel like this is a long time coming. Uh, you know, living the dream that I'm out here playing with microfiber. I've ordered and tried and thrown away and given away and handed out so much microfiber over the years that um, this is kind of a, an odd place to be for me where I feel like I've, I've got a solid kit uh, of the proper towels to do it the way I do it. Now, the way I do it isn't the way to do it. It's just a way to do it. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take you through you know each towel and what they all do and why they do it in the in the course of a video series in the Obsessed Garage Solutions section on YouTube. So if you're watching this video in the store, uh, obviously these are all available uh, and and uh, available to ship. Uh, they the, there's a package you can buy it all a cart. Uh, and and you know certainly if you have questions or anything like that you know let me know I'm happy to happy to help think help you think through it. So I guess a question your logical question would be you know why would you buy microfiber towels from me? Um, to be honest, these are all rag company towels, uh, and it's really odd for me to be using the same company uh, to to pull all my towels from. And I, I think the reason why it worked out that way is because uh, Jeff and Levi and Dane and the guys from the rag company, um, they've kind of done the vetting for us. The, the only problem is, is they have 50 towels uh, and we're using nine. So to get to this point, I've had to buy all 50 and try all 50 and then try 50 from other companies and 50 from another set of companies over the years. And so this is the culmination of uh, lots of microfiber trial and error, more error than trial uh, with, with, with coming to the conclusion that these are the towels for now. And my guess is that this will evolve. Uh, so I'll continue to update my arsenal, which in turn will reflect in the package in my store. So let's get into the towels. Let me take you through each one uh, real quickly and then I'm going to do a more specific video to each towel uh, so that you could go individually and, and, and look at their you know, different specs and different, uh, different reasons why and what I'm using them with. Uh, but let's do a quick overview and, uh, and be sure to check out the, the playlist on, on YouTube if you want to watch all of the different towels because there are nine of them uh, including the Micro Restore that I include with the package. So let's start on uh, your left, uh, and the first thing I include is a gallon and quart of Micro Restore. <laughs> and notice mine's almost empty. Uh, I've got to replace mine. I've had this for a long time. I do do wash lots of uh, microfiber towels. I've probably had this this gallon for uh, at least two years, something like that. So it lasts a long, long time because we're only using 30, maybe 40 milliliters per wash. And you figure, let's say I did three loads a week, even still, this, this gallon is going to last quite a long time. So the reason why I do both is the quart is the measuring, uh, the measuring um, um, container, uh, and so I'll periodically refill the, the gallon. Uh, first towel is uh, used for drying. I don't dry as much anymore since I've transitioned to, to, to hydrate, or at least I don't dry with a traditional drying towel or in a spray wax. Uh, but since, since transitioning to hydrate, I don't use these as much, but these are a great towel to have. I've transitioned to these from, um, from, from the, the Adams towel. Uh, they're very similar. They're probably produced in a similar factory is my guess. These are quite a bit less expensive and bigger. Uh, and so I like these, I like having these and the kit comes with four of them. Uh, the reason why I like having it is for, well, obviously drying, but then if I'm doing any claying, you know, having a detail spray, I like having a big towel that I can just kind of sop up the, the heavy stuff and then grab one of my other towels to kind of finish, finish the job if I'm trying to keep it neat and clean. Uh, so these are uh, 26 by 59. So you can see rather large towel goes all the way to my, you know, from my, from my roughly, I'm 6'2", from my chest or chin to the floor. Uh, and it's a waffle weave, traditional waffle weave towel in white. These hold up really well. Uh, you don't use them on your tires even then. I mean, they'll probably still clean up pretty well with the Micro Restore. Second towel is, uh, is the right company Creature. Uh, I like it in blue. I don't know why. Blue just seems to make sense for me for drying. Maybe I like blue because it matches my hat and my logo. 
Um, but the blues have a heavier pile on one side. Uh, uh, make sure to check out the more specific videos if we want to get into GSM and sizing and all of that. Uh, these are 16 by 16. Now keep in mind with edgeless, uh, edgeless towels are never as clean looking as an edged towel. Um, so don't get too bent out of shape if you see that they don't line up perfectly. These are laser cut. Uh, I don't think it matters uh, much, but uh, then we vetted them to make sure the towels look, look good. Uh, I don't want to have janky cuts. Um, but these towels are, are, are great for drying amohydrate. They're a 70-30 blend. Again, we'll get into more specific uh, details about these when I do each individual product video. The Pluffle. Uh, I love this towel so much. So this is a combination of a higher GSM towel, higher, heavier pile towel with a waffle weave. And so it's like the perfect combination. These are silk edged. I decided to get the 16 by 16, even though they have a 16 by 23. Uh, these towels I use as my all purpose go to towel for like, if I'm going to go to cars and coffee or some sort of event, or like, for instance, when I go to the mountains at the GT3 event, I'm going to take a lot of these. Uh, and so the kit, each towel other than the main towel come with 10. Um, I would probably want more of these if I were you just to be able to throw, you know, six or eight in the car. I use these primarily with a, with Adam's waterless wash, uh, and use it to, you know, wipe down any part of the car. I know it's, it's not going to scratch it because it's super soft, heavier pile, but not so heavy that it just pushes water around. Next towel, a 16 inch by 24 inch uh, waffle weave. These what I use for windows. It's the same material as the as the big dry me crazy uh, for drying, but does fantastic on windows. It's silk edged. Uh, these are I like navy. Uh, don't ask me why. I just like navy. You can get it in baby blue or white, but my kid comes with navy towels and again 10 of 10 of each of these. These things are great. Next towel, this is my latest discovery. This is uh, the right company's Minx. Uh, this is a really, really interesting towel. I thought I would use it. I think it's designed for polish removal or wax removal. I actually love these towels. They absorb water like nothing I've ever seen. Um, they're kind of, you know, just be prepared. I, I think these may be hard to cut, but they tend to be, uh, you know, uh, at times tend to have odd sizing. I don't think you're going to care about that because we're going to use these as a workhorse. They're going to use these, at least I use them for door jams. So they get nasty and dirty and, and, and so I use these under the hood. I use them in the trunk lid, you know, the area of the pocket that tends to collect dirt. I found that using a waffle weave tends to push the water around. These suck up the water and they hold so much. Um, so interesting, they have a different pile on either side. Uh, again, don't expect perfection from these. Uh, we don't think we need perfection for the application. Uh, don't expect perfection on the cuts anyway, I should say. Now, this one looks pretty good, but you know, it's still a little bit, a little bit off. Uh, but these, these are, this is a, a real big discovery for me. There's 10 of those in the kit. I chose to do the baby blue over the yellow in the Minx. Um, I don't know, I just liked it better. There's no rationale behind that. Uh, mainly also because I'm using yellow for polish removal. Uh, and then we have our 80-20 towels. And these towels, I mean, when you compare them to other fancier stuff, you'd think that, man, you know, 80-20, Chinese made. Personally, I don't really care about Chinese versus Korean. Some of these are Korean, I think. Some of them are Chinese. It doesn't really matter to me. I just want it to work. Um, so I don't get hung up on any of that stuff. Uh, these are these are what what the um, the rag company refers to as a car washing towel or microfiber terry. Um, uh, these have and you'll notice uh, when you get them, there's a little different pile on each side. One is a little bit softer than the other, um, but it's when you're wiping the interior down, it's imperceptible. And for whatever reason, I'm just biased to green in the interior, and I like having this extra size. So these are 16 by 27. Uh, just to give you a reference for how big they are, uh, I never use it like this, but I'm always folding it. And I was torn uh, on 16 by 16 versus 16 by 27 in the in the interior. To be honest, the main reason why I chose the 16 by 27 is so they all match. <laughs> so you guys know how much I like complete sets. I actually have four or five other you know the other colors. Um, I'm just you know, probably not going to use them anymore now that I have some of these other replacements. I'd actually decided to 
um, recently in one of my one of my recent videos to use all of these for pretty much everything. But then the discovery of some of the 70-30 stuff, the 70-30 blends uh, versus the 80-20 blends, the, which of course I'm talking about polyester versus polyamide. Uh, polyamide being the more expensive, more water absorbent portion uh, in comparison to polyester. So these are more polyester than polyamide than the other towels, but they do a great job. So interior, I use it uh, with 1Z, Einzet Cockpit or Griot's Interior Cleaner, uh, both of them work great. Uh, I guess it's now Nexit, Nexet Cockpit Premium is what I use that with. The orange, uh, I don't know, these are really loud. Um, the orange, I just became accustomed to using uh, like the CarPro BOA towel or BOA towel. Um, I, I, I was using those as just kind of my workhorse. I didn't really like them very much. Uh, you know, no offense to CarPro, I just, they became my beater towel. Uh, and so that these these will be my beater towel as well. The other thought process here is I'll use these for final leveling on a coating uh, because I'll beat them. You know they wash great. They will come out clean. I'll beat them up. They'll get stained and kind of kind of kind of jacked up. And then I'll use them to level the coating and then just throw it away. Uh, and so that's that's my thought process. So what I'm doing any any C any C quartz or Car Pro or anything like that. Uh, or ammo reflex. I think reflex you can wash out of a towel, but anyway, just to be safe, I would use these as my all-purpose towel and then use them to level out the coating. Uh, again, you would think, why would you, why would you use your crappiest towel to do the most important step? Uh, they wash up so clean. So well, even if they don't look pretty, they'll be clean and perfect to level a, a coating. Next towel, again, these are all the same. This is a yellow. Uh, again, I've become accustomed to yellow as my polish removal, even though I used the green, uh, the, the green microfiber tech for a while. Uh, again, I've transitioned to uh, preferring a lower pile. These are 320 GSM. Uh, so these are polish removal. And then finally, this would be my wax and uh, theoretically uh, sealant removal uh, and probably some detail spray. Although I suspect I'll probably be using the Pluffle uh, more often for detail sp spray removal, maybe even the creature. So that's the, that's the lineup. So we have nine towels, which makes up 84. Um, there's 84 in total. Uh, if I were you, I would probably want two of these, two sets, if you wanted to really complete everything. Uh, you have uh, you'd, that way you'd have 20 of each, eight drying towels. That's I think the perfect or perfect arsenal. Uh, you, I like having extra, although I very rarely ever use all of them. Um, the towels that will get used the most will most likely be your pluffle, um, your glass cleaning, uh, the um, the minks for cleaning your door jams. Uh, and then uh, most likely uh, when you're polishing, you'll use lots of the yellow towels to, to remove the, the polish. And so those are, those are the ones you might you know, want to just buy a la carte and have, have some extra. So this is where I'm at today. Again, this package will continue to evolve. So uh, as I learn about new stuff and try new stuff, uh, I think that, that I'll, I'll continue to update the package. Um, but these are the nine towels that I'm using in my garage, and uh, I hope that they, they, they work well for you. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more crazy. So what happens when the, when the force pulls you back, your foot naturally comes off the gas. You have to keep your foot to the floor. The floor. Foot to the floor.